to my channel. So today we are going to be making the Bio 3D Puzzle Harry Potter Wizarding World. Okay, so this is what we are going to be making. It has 126 pieces. It takes five hours to make. And when we're done the bar, it's going to look like this. And it's going to look so beautiful. So let's start making it. So we're going to be making the um, 3D puzzle now, the bar. And so I'm going to open up it up to show you what is inside of the box. So first we have the instructions of course we need instructions because then how we're going to make the bar so so i'm gonna start with one and then i'm gonna go with two if you can see right up here and then we're gonna follow through until we get to the end then we are going to then we have the puzzles that we have to make the bar with so I'm going to open it up to show you what is inside of it. So we have the whole set. We've got so much. So let's start making it. So guys, where is it? the instructions say I am zone one and two. So we're gonna move on three and four. So we're gonna move on three and four. Right, so one and two, these are for the results for one and two. So I'm not really done yet, but I've obviously need to finish it. So this is like the bottom part, like the bottom of the house. And it's something I need to tell you. So, I put this and this. Okay, so not this, this. But, so this is like, oh, send this about. Send this about. So, um, you, you see over here, right? Where is it? Over here? That means like you gotta take it out for like these stuff, you know? These stuff. And. I found it in when I was building the part two. Found it in, where was it? Over here, like, uh, 68 and 62. I literally, like, found it and then I was like, why is that here? Isn't that supposed to be, like, the one with the numbers or something? Like, here? She has the numbers on it. And then I figured out. I looked at the back and then I saw this. Then I knew it was like that. And it's actually kind of better than the one that I used to use. Like, over here to like take it out. So, and this is literally like come with the set. You see? With the set. And it's so cool. And it looks so good. So, this side is where you like hold it, and this side is where you like push it down so you can get it anyway i have to move on to oh i didn't read it i didn't read it copy it says up here the thing did you guys see? it says up here like one time so you could take it out i just looked at the instruction have a build but it was like right there all this time right there all this time guys Anyways, we have to be moving on to three and four. Here are the ones. Three and four. So let's get started. I'm done making three and four. 
So now I'm going to be needing a uh, two, five, and six. So these are the results of three and four that I stuck on from one and two. So here you can look at it, and this is obviously the chimney. This is the roof bit, or I need to fit on the other parts of the roof. But we're almost there. So let's go. So I'm done five and six. So this is the result of five and six. So this is what I made and I stuck off some more like parts of the roof. And so now we are going to be sticking this on in seven and eight. So Seven and eight. So here's like seven and eight, and like this is what I had to be made. So I have over here. I have like the part of the second floor of the house, and at the bottom over here of A, I have the balcony. And now I'm going to be moving on to nine and ten, which is not the last one, but the second last pages and so um so let's get started Okay, so I'm done 9 and 10, which is the level 3 of the burrow. So this is level 3 of the burrow. It, it was actually pr pretty difficult, but I got help from my mom so I could stick it on. And I have the balcony over here that I stuck on from level 3. And um, so I'm going to show you around like the whole burrow and then I'm going to put some details on for 11 and 12. So here I got it. I got the chimney, we got a level three, level two, and level one. And then we got the pond over here. Here. And then so now we're going to be moving on to um, eleven and twelve, which is which is the last two pages of the whole borough. So let's move on. Okay, so here are the final results of the bar. So I want to talk a little bit about the bar. So here, we the house is actually made of timber, wood, and bricks. So you can see like the bricks over here, they're like stacked up on top of each other. And this house obviously has a lot of windows as you can see. And we have a tall chimney right there. So inside they can set the fire and they can get really warm in the in the winters and so um so in the book of harry potter the weasleys used to, um live here in the borough and um here we got some we got a courtyard with a little pond um not a pond a pool and here we got <clears throat> the the back like the back bit like the yeah and then here we got the entrance so when you walk in you'll just see like a house full of for like imagining all that stuff. Like, so I'm going to talk about the instructions now. So um, these are the instructions that I had to take it by step by step. And, uh, and remember I told you guys that this, I found that this little thing over there and we're like numbers 60 to 50 to 60. 
and I found it, and you gotta like take these stuff out. But actually, it kind of just it was flimsy with it. And when I was actually building it, it looks easy in um. It actually looks easy in the picture over here, but in reality, it's actually really hard. It's like flimsy, and then like sometimes you can't get hold of the actual like thing to make it. And so now I'm going to rate the product. So personally, for me, I think that it was a solid eight out of ten because like some parts were flimsy, as I said, and um, I wish the like when we're building the second level and the third level, it would like put the details on first and then it will be easier to stick on. And so please like and subscribe. Please click the notification button on and, and see you next time. Bye.